My name is Judy Bowie and I'm an Associate Professor of Surgery here at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester. Uh, my clinical practice is uh, predominantly 100% breast surgery and breast cancer surgery related with uh, clinical and research interest in breast cancer. Many women with breast cancer are, are very worried about a, a axial lymph node dissection because that involves the removal of the majority of the lymph nodes underneath the arm. And this is associated with an approximately 25% risk of lymphedema. Uh, which is swelling of the arm on the side of the surgery. And many breast cancer patients really would prefer to avoid l the risks of lymphedema. And sentinel lymph node surgery is known to have a significantly lower risk of lymphedema than an axial lymph node dissection. So the advantage of doing less invasive surgery and removing less lymph nodes is less complications um, and lower risk of lymphedema. And that is definitely uh, a step forward for the breast cancer patients. This was a landmark study performed between 1999 and 2004, accruing uh, close to 900 patients that had positive sentinel lymph nodes um, at the time of their surgery for breast cancer. Importantly, these were all women that were undergoing lumpectomy, so breast conservation surgery and they had either one or two positive sentinel lymph nodes. And these patients were randomized, meaning using just the flip of a coin to either uh, removing all of the rest of the lymph nodes with an axial lymph node dissection or no further axillary surgery. The initial uh, results in relation to local control were actually released about six months ago and the paper published in JAMA Today um, reports on the overall survival of this group of patients. Um, most importantly, this is a cohort of women undergoing lumpectomy with sentinel lymph node surgery and also whole breast radiation. Uh, the study shows that there was no difference in the overall survival of women between those who had sentinel lymph node surgery and no additional axillary surgery in comparison to the group that had sentinel lymph node surgery and completion axillary lymph node dissection. And so this is definitely a landmark study which will uh, result in some changes in surgical practices across the nation for that particular subgroup of patients. Um, I was somewhat surprised when we initially heard the results of the study. Uh, it's a very encouraging study. It's um, very nice to be making steps forward in the care of breast cancer patients and trying to um, have less invasive procedures and as good outcomes is definitely a huge step forward for breast cancer patients and breast cancer surgeons. For patients who um, have an early stage breast cancer and meet the criteria of this study, um, it really means that they may be able to avoid having their axillary lymph node, um, have all of their axillary lymph nodes removed. Um, so specifically for a woman in clinic who has a tumor that is less than five centimeters in size, and who is planning to keep her breast and undergo breast conservation surgery with a lumpectomy. If at the time of her sentinel lymph node surgery, uh, the sentinel nodes are removed and only one or two sentinel nodes are positive, then uh, potentially she could avoid the completion axillary lymph node dissection, meaning she could keep the rest of her axillary lymph nodes. The important aspects though to realize are that uh, in this study, um, all patients had whole breast radiation and that does um, treat some of the axillary lymph nodes. It treats a, a portion of level one and level two axillary lymph nodes with radiation therapy. And 96% of the women in this study also received chemotherapy. Um, my concern with this study is that we don't extrapolate it to the wrong set of patients. Um, women who are undergoing a mastectomy do not meet the criteria of this study. And women who would be considering um, partial breast radiation um, and we also need to reflect on women that may not be getting systemic therapy. These are patient cohorts that may have higher local failure rates, um, and for those patients, an axillary dissection still has an important role. I think at, at this time point, the most important thing for patients to ask their, their physicians and their surgeons is whether they would be, whether they would fall into the criteria of this study, and therefore whether they would be candidates to uh, not have all of their lymph nodes removed. I think the study gives us uh, strong evidence to look at doing less invasive surgery on more women, but the ultimate decision on each individual woman is still going to need to be made on a case-to-case -case basis in a multidisciplinary team fashion.